Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I have an exciting word for the month of November, December, into the new year. It's a new season. I received a word from the Spirit of the Lord and I wrote it down exactly how I received it. And I also received a few dreams confirming this word and solidifying this word. And I normally share on Thursday, but I heard very clearly it's a now word and that I must share it today being the beginning of November. And so I'm sharing it with you all today. It's an exciting word. And so I'm going to read it to you exactly how I received it. And then I'm going to share with you all the um, interpretation of the dreams that I received and give you um, the scripture references as well. All right. So let's begin. So I heard very clearly the shift, the shaking, change, hold on your rest. The time has come. You will see a great outpouring of my spirit, unlike any other time. The great transference of wealth has begun. I will realign the structures. I will make the crooked paths straight. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. You will experience a time of harvest and rest. My promises are being fulfilled. I will call my sons and daughters from every corner of the earth. They will no longer hide. They will be bold and proclaim my glory, says the Lord. I am leading my people beside the still waters and they will find rest for a season. This is the appointed time. Hear me. I am the Lord thy God and what I have said shall come to pass. I have heard the cries of my afflicted and I have come to give you rest from the task masters. You shall carry out much abundance you shall receive beauty for, for your ashes. All will see that you are a blessed people and many will turn to me because of the glory that I will shine forth in your life. I am the Lord your God, I cannot lie. I will wipe away every tear and answer your prayer. I did not forget you. I have waited for this appointed time. Thus says the Spirit of Almighty God. Amen. Isn't that an awesome word? I mean, when I received it, I was so excited and I wrote it down and I thought it was just for me, but I heard, no, you need to share this word. And so I'm sharing it. And so also the dreams that I received, I'm going to share with you all the, uh, the revelation or the um, interpretation of the dreams. And so it says, many are on a path right now Stay on those paths. God's blessing those paths. What is in your hand right now? God is going to bless it. And they will lead you to great surprises. The suddenlies, the unexpected gifts. Now, I mean, new associations. Press forth. Forget what's behind let go of the old habits and associations. There's new partnerships and new beginnings. Change is on the horizon. You've overcome many obstacles. The Lord has given many creative ideas. Run with them. He's blessing them in this season. You're going to experience a period of rest, leisure, carefreeness. God is going to watch over you and you will feel his presence and protection like a blanket over you in this season. It's a time of indulgence, but don't lose sight of the importance of the opportunities and the preparation. Many will see all these good things happening to you at once and will gather around you. Lift up the name of the Lord, for all good things come from above. Um, make responsible choices. It's a time of self-improvement. You will be a blessing to others. 
there is going to be such blessings. You will have to make adjustments in your lifestyle. You will forget the things of old, the, the pain, the pressure, the uh, hurts of the past. Do not feel like it's temporary. No, this will become your new normal. It's a new beginning. It, there's a permanence there and people are going to give into your life and um, they're going to be a blessing to you in this season. And so that is the word from the dreams that I've received. And um, I'm also going to give you the scriptures that was given to my spirit and um, the first scripture, just bear with me one second. The first scripture that was given to me was is Isaiah 61 verse 3. And it says, and provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead, instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise um, instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Isn't that awesome? And um, another word that I was given is uh, Psalms 23, verse 2 and 3. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And one more verse I was given is Numbers 23 verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do? Or has he spoken and will he not make it good? So guys, it's an exciting time. It's time, guys, to get excited, you know, forget the climate, forget what's going on out there. This, There's a shift, there's a change, it's a new season, God is doing a new thing, and you know, it's it's a time of rest for his, his remnant, for his people, for those that he has called and is calling in this season, and so get excited. I'm excited and I receive that word and I give God all the glory, the honor and the praise. May it be a blessing to you as it was a blessing to me. And remember to take it to the Lord in prayer and to, you know, seek the Lord. If this is an invite for you to seek God's face and to hear what he's saying to you specifically in this season. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, as always, to keep your sights on the things that are eternal, for it's in the eternal things that we can move beyond the walls.